Hi, welcome back. This is Excel Video 60. I'm Nate Moore. We're going to talk more about conditional formatting today. Same set of cells, same uh, kind of discussion we've had over the last couple of Excel videos. What I want to show you today is let's assume and we did something similar to what we've done in the past that we want our top three items again light red fill, dark red text, and click OK. That works just fine. And then same items. Highlight cells, let's do something similar, greater than 400. But what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to go to Custom Format, and all I want to do is just make it bold for me. That's all I want to do. If it's over 400, make it bold. And I click OK, and click OK, and I think this is what we ought to expect. The top three, because that's the first rule, are in the red with the red fill, and everything that's over 400, these other three, are bold, but they're not red because they're not in the top three. And if it would help to show you here's the conditional formatting rules manager and here's the bold and here's the top three. So what we're doing now is we're saying okay if the cell values greater than 400 make it black but if it's in the top three then what we're doing is we're making it red, bold, and uh, a red background. So the, the rules don't conflict. Everything's fine. We've got we you can be black and you can have uh, red font. We'll just make it. All, all, let me clarify. You can be bold. This is bold, and you can be, have red font that's bold with a red background. So we've got these red cells are now bolded, and these other three that are over 400 but aren't in the top three. They're they're just bold with black text. I want to show you today what this stop if true thing is all about. In versions of Excel prior to 2007. Excel could only evaluate three rules here, and now you can evaluate a whole ton of them. And the other things in, that prior versions would do is they they would only evaluate rules until it became true, and as soon as it was true, it would stop. It wouldn't look at the the conditional formatting rules below the first line that it found to be true. For compatibility with prior versions of Excel, that's what this stop if true thing does. It, it may be easier to demonstrate it. So what what I want to do now is say, okay. If you find a cell that's over 400, just make it bold and stop if true. And if we click apply, now we're not going to get the red stuff going. We're just going to do bold because the the first rule was true and we're going to stop. Now if we make the second rule stop if true and move it up and click apply, you'll notice here's what's happening here. I'm going to get red font and red background, but I'm not going to get the bold for these three cells because for these three cells this rule is true and it's going to stop. For these three cells they're not in the top three. They didn't they didn't meet this first criteria. This first rule is not true for those three cells so they're going to go bold. That's the difference between stop if true let's take them all off and apply. Now notice how it's bold now because these rules don't conflict, and this one's true, that one's true, Excel keeps going, and it's happy. But as soon as you put stop if true here, watch what happens to these three cells. They're not bold anymore. That's how the stop if true thing works. If you're looking for prior version compatibility, or if you only want to format the first rule and stop it as soon as you find a rule that's true, that's what this section over here is for. I hope you found that run through conditional formatting and the conditional formatting rules manager helpful, all these different options and menus. There's a lot of different uh, options that can save you a ton of time, particularly when you've got data that in like a pivot table or something that's moving and changing. If it's linked to live data, it's really helpful to be able to find quickly the cells you care about and then do your analysis from there. That's what I'm going to do for conditional formatting in this series, at least for now. Stay tuned next time. We'll talk about something new. Thanks for watching.